What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back in Wreckfest once again here today, finally checking out the Tri Bend Speedway, which is kind of cool, banked, triangular, oval, and it's got three different layouts, and I think we're going to try to take them all on here today in this one video. We've got the 90s mod back again as well, so let's jump right into it. We got Paul Menard, the legend himself, starting right ahead of us. Are you hard for Menard? Because I know I certainly am. We're racing down into turn one, almost four wide, and the 23 gets dumped. The turn one meme is alive and well at yet another track. They're losing it all behind us and all around us as cars are flying everywhere. Oh, man, that is a big slide to the corner. Way too much of a slide. And I get a half pack from a car behind me. And they are flipping big time in the corner behind us. I got to try and get this thing turned around without getting hit. And instead, I get nailed. I get absolutely packed, as has become tradition. Oh, we got cars everywhere up here in front of us. Look out, more concrete destruction, boys. Look out, Casey Mears going right through the signboards. Oh, man. Sponsors aren't going to be happy about that. Well, they paid a lot of money to be up there. That's going to be a problem. And speaking of problems, I think Joe Nemechek's going for the pass on me now. And I got to go high to avoid the cars. Oh, get on the track through more concrete. And there's more cars everywhere on the front stretch. Oh, I got launched by a broken barrier. What? And we landed it, and then I got killed by Jeff Gordon and slapped again in the rear. This is a tragedy. Look who's in the middle, boys. It's our roller skater boy himself. Morgan Shepard taking us four wide into the corner. Mark Donahue sending it up the inside, and we're just going to drive through all of them and continue on to third. Mark Donahue coming in, sending it on the outside. Now with Tim Richmond on the inside, this is not going to end well, and it hasn't gone well for anybody. Mark Donahue is getting awful brave here today. Let's get it back on the track. Oh my God, who is it that just got launched into a barrel roll? That's Morgan Shepard and that's a huge crash and I have wrecked myself. Looking back at the wreck, I am gonna get a million comments for that and you know what? I probably deserve it, let's be fair. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Mark Donahue, my old friend, see you later, buddy. Holy moly, Derek Krause off the roof off the head and we're gonna come around to finish the race albeit in seventh place not doing much for us but goodness gracious there aren't a lot of plays in the playbook so we're just gonna go back to running the bottom getting pushed through the corner and i've dumped Haley deegan and i have ruined the future of nascar should i put the bumper to Corey lajoy going in the corner here let him know i'm thinking about getting around him oh everybody's going wide out of the corner and then i just dump him i just completely cleaned him out and chase Going up and over off the concrete on his own accord. Oh, Danica bombs Clements. Steven Light blinking in. BJ McLeod, everybody's coming together in the middle and we're flying back through the concrete and I just signed myself up for one of the worst T-bones we've seen in a while. Nice, neat, great, and grand. We've got contact being made everywhere around here. We're slicing and dicing our way through and I just took out Corey LaJoy again. No, I can't lose the lead like this. No. Oh, damn, I didn't realize I had low health. Well, that's a bummer. Still haven't learned our lesson on four wide into turn one, but it doesn't matter. Shove Joe Nemechek clean out of the way on the way through on the concrete. We get launched again head first into a front flip, and we are completely turtled with a bunch of cars coming for us. Are they going to hit us? Yes, they are. Yes, they absolutely are. And I'm still not on the wheels again, but I'm getting nailed by everybody on the way by, and I've been packed to death. There it is, the finishing blow. See if I can maybe squeak it down to the bottom here. Oh, it's time taking out Alex LeBay, bouncing off a couple of cars, and now it's a drag race. Oh man, we're banging doors. Oh, Dick Brooks with the send up the inside, and we are in the fence. I am flipping Dick Brooks with the BDE send up the inside. I don't even know how to react to that. And a car in front of me just gets launched. I got Robbie Lyons losing it in front of me. Everybody's losing it out here. Oh, I'm about to lose it off the corner here. Oh, Steve Park nailed. And I just, oh my God. There's a lot that could be said right there, but we're not gonna. What? We got smoke. We got crashing going up here in front of us, wrecking everywhere. The leader, Austin Hill getting dumped. 
in the penultimate corner, we take out the leader completely on accident. And then in the final corner, I get blasted by a dead car. But we are gonna take it across the line and get the dub pretty early. We eliminate the first track layout from our day. There you go. Conquered it, even got the fastest lap and did it in style, taking the guys out right at the end. So that is layout number one down of three. Let's get on with the next one. All right, we are back here at Tri-Band Speedway for layout number two. This is the main circuit, which is literally just the reverse of what we just ran. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Off the line here. Let's get right into this first attempt. Ray Black Jr. kind of getting held up on that inside line, so we'll make it four wide all day, getting squeezed through the middle, but carrying on as Ray Black Jr. says, get up the track, give me some space, my guy, and I'll happily do that. As a bunch of cars going wide on the exit of the corner, and that is going to be big trash as I dump Todd Gillen going into the corner. We're going to go wide ourselves here into the concrete. We get stop and stuff from behind a vicious pack. Oh, man, we got cars going all over the road here. Ryan Priest getting hit. And I packed Todd Gilliland for the lead. Mugged him on the way by. We got a 77 right in the middle of the track. Forcing me off the road. But we are in the lead, boys. Oh, Brandon Jones just about loses it off the corner on his own. What the heck did I just get launched by? What the hell? And I just took that 07 out of the race. And I'm stuck. I think I got lost off a broken piece of concrete. And there's... Oh, wheel spin get me on the track just get me on the track I just gotta limp it to the line either get on the track or don't just do something get me through the barrier get me to the line oh come on oh come on dude oh just push Ray Black Jr oh man and I got launched up in the air a little bit but it's cool it's oh it's not totally cool when Ryan Priest is wrecking right in front of me and I'm going straight for the concrete Man, it's a great day to be in the concrete business. Oh my goodness, a couple cars go flying on corner exit and more cars. Oh my goodness, the 23 got launched and I'm gonna launch myself off some concrete trying to break for the corner. But that man has joined Regan Smith in the Space Force. I don't even know who it was. I didn't catch a glimpse. I gotta get better at arc in these corners. Oh, we got one coming down on the racing lane and coming back up is Phil Parsons getting knocked over the barriers. That was some big hits. We got a Palmenard siding. Oh, Todd Gillen gets blasted up the hill. Oh, what the heck? All right, that was my bad. I was looking back. I don't know what happened. Oh man, they are missing the corner exit big time. Got one going up and over. Oh, hold on to it, hold on to it. Don't wreck yourself again, Ed. Come on, we're gonna hold on to it though. Oh boy. That was a little nerve right? No, nope. why? Why? Why must you people do this to me? Oh, Carl Edwards laying in the middle of the road, making me get nailed, sending me and Martin Shrex Jr. into our untimely demises. Neat. I don't think there's any hope for these initial starts and it's kicking off already there. A couple of guys hitting some concrete and bouncing off each other. But we're keeping it rolling up here in the top five. Todd Gillen pitching me down just a tad. Don't hit the concrete. Get it back on track. We're going to hold on to it mostly as we got Dick Brooks going around. You hate to see that. Oh, and we got the leaders wrecking themselves. You love to see that. And I'm just going to slam into our rival, Kale Yarbrough. Oh, we got an invisible boy. Spooky October boys are still hanging around. It is friggin' March out here about to be April. This is a joke. I don't know what it's going to take for me to arc this corner the right way. I'm still not getting it right. And that's a horribly wrong exit. And I just get launched into my demise. The concrete killer strikes again. Just going to take that super low lane here on the start. The leader takes himself out of Ray Black Jr. Jumps up on my hood. What the heck? Get off of me. You freaks. And now I'm getting taken to the wall by David Pearson through the concrete. A massive tire check. And cars flying everywhere. And I'm going to ass pack Martin Truex Jr just as clean as you can. That was a perfect lineup. And oh my goodness, where was that 07 going? There is calamity all over the place. I'm sending it on Justin Allgaier and I'm still spinning him. Come on, uh, what is this crap? Look at us. Look at us bums out here just hooked together. Yeah, doing a donut for style, no biggie. Tire check into the poles and they decide not to break. That is a perfect time for that to happen. Thank you, game. Oh, look out, Ron Bouchard, you bum. Backing right across the track just to take me out, you slime ball. 
Let me squeeze in on the bottom, please. Thank you. All right, it's gonna chill out down here. It's gonna hang out. Looks like all the wrecking is going up to the high side, not that low. This is gonna be a terrible corner arc and I get packed into it, which also doesn't help me. And then Neil Bonnet just throws a slider right into my door. Neil, watch out, buddy. He's gonna ride out of that like a boss. Oh, and then I, I'm not gonna get all the stopping power that I need. So we are going to go right off the track. But can I pull it right back on the track? Yes, I can without too much incident. Man, there's a lot of cars going around back there. We need to catch Brandon Jones. Oh, man, Ron Bouchard with a send. And then I get launched off the broken concrete again. Come on. You are absolutely killing me out here today, Tribend. This is brutality. Ray Black Jr. blowing my doors off and then taking himself out. Well, Brandon Jones has won, so we might as well just slide it into this gigantic flip we're going to go on. Well, that's just grand. I guess instead of getting... So oh, my God. Where did that guy come from? What the hell? Kale's getting brave here. when Dick Brooks is going out wide. Though. Holy moly. What a jump. And I'm going to pay the price for staring at it, but I don't care. That was amazing. He stuck the landing. Dick Brooks might be my hero of life after what I just saw. I'm going to dump Trevor Bain like it's no tomorrow. Somebody must have died because we inherited the lead without doing anything. And Ward Burton has wrecked himself down into the racing lane and killed us. Oh, Kale, your bro Todd Gillen. Everybody's hitting the little concrete lip there at the end. And I got a bunch of spooky October boys popping up on me here. We're going to try and keep that to a minimum at all times, please. Didn't anybody get to memo? There goes a couple of cars getting launched and the spooky boy taking me out. Come on, gather it up. Nice little pump of the brakes right there is going to save us. Oh, Kale Yarbrough back across the track. Just missing the swipe. We're going to get by Trevor Bain as well. I'm our final lap. Boys, we got a car dead in the road. What the hell? And a wheel comes flying off. What is next? What is next, Wreckfest? And this is the guy trying to take my lead. I got to take him out. I can't. I whip. I absolutely whip. Wow. I'm ashamed, to be quite frank with you. And I think I'm also stuck. Todd Gilland, I'm not playing any games right now, buddy. And Kelly Hubro going for a flip as well. Not the first time and probably not the last as I almost lose it all on my own in the corner. And somebody else just gets launched up there in front of us because we haven't seen that enough times today. Oh, yeah, yeah. These animals sending it up my inside. Ray Black Jr. probably got a shove from Corey LaJoy into the corner. We're going to just miss. I think that was Eric Jones. Oh, man. Somebody just got ass packed hard into the corner in the three wide squeeze. I don't know who was in that Jeff car, but we just eliminated them entirely. I've lost a couple positions now, but I think I'm about to get them back because we got them wrecking up here in the final corner. But we're back to second. And now we got to hunt down the leader, Ray Black Jr., who has gotten himself stuck off the side of the track. And we are in the lead. We got Dick Brooks here in front of us. Laps down, of course. Let's see if we can just get this one home nice and clean, man. No, oh, Dick Brooks. You hate to see it takes himself out, takes someone else with him. Ty Dillon is invisible in the final corner. I don't need this in my life, Ty. But we are going to get away from it, and we are going to collect our second dub of the day with a nice little twirl there across the line. So that is another one down with one more to go, and the last one is the wildest one. So let's go ahead and jump to it. Well, we are here at quite literally the wild circuit layout and i have a feeling it's called that for a reason although everything's been pretty wild thus far so first attempt on our last challenge of the day let's get it started off right and this is not how you do it marcus ambrose getting hooked right from the get-go and that sends us all into a major collision before we even make it to the ramp that's been placed down here so things are indeed starting off wild they're getting even wilder down here oh man the brakes gotta get it woed up that is not easy to slow down for Davy Allison catching some beautiful air and then running into us. Get out of my way, everybody. We are coming through. We got a mostly clear track and we're up to third. Oh, getting it woed down for this section really is not easy. Flying through the middle, going, jumping off the concrete. And I'm racing a dead guy there as we're getting it back on track. Look out, Davy just going to miss him. One final time through the danger zone, Marcus Ambrose. Get out of my way, buddy. We've run into you enough today, but not the concrete, apparently. No, oh, come on. That is such trash. Well, Brian Vickers, excuse me, pardon me. Gonna make a hole where there isn't one and just kind of bump you and dump you out of the way. It's a bunch of cars crash into the catch fence. That was terrible. And I'm gonna meet the catch fence myself. And so are a few others. I just flip 
over the little guardrail fence thingy. Gonna go around the racetrack and still we're in the top five and I'm being landed on my trunk by Bobby Isaac. What the heck? And I'm gonna pack Landon Castle and get packed myself. It's all gonna right here at tri -Bend. The wild circuit is being a wild one indeed. Me and Johnny Sauter just trying to survive. I hear a Truex is going around and up and over and into a tumble and we take him out and I'm not gonna be able to break in time. And we are also eliminated once again. Oh, Landon Castle getting hooked right from the start by Bobby Isaac, and then we repay the favor. Oh my goodness, another one, and I get turned. I don't even know by whom, but I will find out, and I am just gonna get removed from this area thanks to the help of my, my fellow competitors. I appreciate them resetting me right there. Oh man, we got him going hard into the corner here. The track is entirely blocked. Cars are flying in here. Watch out, a car just landed on me. And I had low enough help where that killed me. Are you serious? Oh, Cole Custer popping a wheelie off the concrete roller skater boy. No, we Tom Morgan Shepard and Tony Stewart's going for a flying lesson as well. And he's going to kick in my trunk. What's up with all the trunk violence lately? Just going to chase down JJ Yaley. That's all that we can do. If we can get through here cleanly, which nobody appears to be doing, but I'm going to slam into JJ Yaley. And that's one way to take the lead. Come on, everybody, get out of the way. Joe Nemechek giving him a pack to get by it. I just ramped off of somebody. No, that's going to disrupt me, though. Need to turn back around. Come on, Gar. Oh, JJ Yelly's going to take the lead back from me at the world's slowest pace. Robbie Gordon already has. Oh, I'm going to get hit by everybody. I don't know where to go. And Morgan Shepard. No, you bum. You came and killed me. I'm getting nervous about these boys down on the inside here, and I'm gonna have my revenge on old Morgan Shepard. That's what you get, buddy. Oh, and a little mini pack right there as they wad it up big time going into the danger zone. Tony Stewart's out of this thing already, and we've made it onto the podium right from the start. See if we can get to JJ Yelly this time without causing horrendous accidents, but he's kind of beating us to it, and now I've got a dead car holding me down to the bottom of the track. Come on, dude. I got a live cars working against me. I don't need dead cars working against me, too. And Jesus, look at the parking lot. Can I break through the concrete? Go fast enough to do it. And we do. And we take the lead. Well, that is not how I wanted to exit the corner. And I have just heat seeked Ricky Craven. The poor guy was just sitting there minding his own business. Then we came for his freaking head. It's a little bit harder to break around the rim out here. Won't lie, especially when you're five feet in the air. Try to keep the wheels on the ground, please. Oh no, I went over that way too fast and I just killed myself because I'm stupid. Oh my God. Oh no, boys, you know who that is in front of me. That's Morgan Shepard. That means my death is imminent and it just very well might be as Jeffrey Earnhardt about knocks down the wall there. But we make it away over the jump and we are in third with Tim Richmond and Morgan Shepard himself as he launches himself out of contention. Tim Richmond up here taking that eye line. I'm going for the concrete yet again. Haven't learned my lesson on that one. And JJ Yearly trying his best to just kind of flip over me, but it didn't work. And now we continue on and what back to third. Now Robbie Lyon snuck by me at some point. I got Robbie in my sights. I'm ready to hunt him down, but there's dead cars in my way. Oh, Robbie took himself out. No, and I have inherited the lead. Oh my, on the last lap dramatics. Once again, coming out of the final corner, we are going to conquer Tribend with only one other car remaining right at the line. Just about everybody getting all they can handle here at the Wild Circuit layout. I would say it has definitely earned its name. So uh, that will pretty much be where we wrap up here today for Tribend. But before we jump out of here, I do want to quickly say, I hope all of you are doing okay out there. I know it's crazy times we're living in right now with all the stuff going on in the world. And hopefully all of you are staying home or staying safe and doing what you can and taking the precautions to protect yourself and those around you. So hopefully this video helped make your day just a little bit brighter. If it did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe. As always, all that stuff helps me out a ton. And with that, that'll do it. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!